This is never any working service. The news room. Now, on today's news, right? This is gonna be an upload video, right? Uh, we had a discussion in our bed chat, the news network family room, and I was addressing Henry of this, right? So as you say, uh, Henry was talking about. Let's let's go to the top. Uh, YouTube remove more more than one ten thousand videos related to the midterms, right? He just posted. Uh, he just posted uh, the top, right? So, he said, uh, you need to, he said, you need to read the clean network to St. God America. And, you know, I said, uh, YouTube and Facebook supposed to have a guideline to protect themselves from the citizens who are full of conspiracy theory, hatred, and disinformation and misinformation. That's keeping, keep people for harming themselves or others for blaming their platform that is YouTube and Facebook are talking about. The you know oh here the article, right? Where the two thousand YouTube videos been uh removed. I asked Henry, why? You should ask them, why is they removing these ten thousand you know what I'm saying video? Or you just go read the title of the article. Then you come up with your own conclusion, right? So I post the article, right? Bloomberg. YouTube took down more than 10,000 videos related to the U.S. midterm election for violation of its policy on uh, the election integrity and on other guidelines with 75% removed before they reached 100 views. The division of alphabetical Google said on Monday. So you read that, right? Then I posted the rest, right? The, the hugely popular video site and other social media site company have been under pressure since 2016 U.S. president election to ensure the platforms are not manipulating to spread politician misinformation. YouTube published its results. Now the Google runoff earlier this month had concluded. So they concluded. Uh, YouTube said to them, the rule content that went against rules for being a user from deceiving people about how to vote, encouraging violence, and promoting misinformation, such as falsehood, that the 2020 U.S. presidential election was stolen, right? You know, what's the guy say? The Democrats were stealing, hiding violence, were sitting up the poll, you know, all that shit. Like, like six, seven states that Trump was talking about, you know, all this Trump conspiracy theories, right? So, let's get it. And then I responded, just to let them know what, the, what I was saying, right? My client. Trump was lying about the election, was stolen, fucked it up for everybody. He fucked it up for everybody today, right? And lying, misinformation, disinformation of P. 2016, with the Alex Jones ass campaign, such as Piece of Gate Bullshit, he was put out to deceive the people to vote for him, right? No, you make a boogeyman, make people afraid, they'll vote for you. Say the create a devil on the other side. Make them evil. Don't run off your policies. Cause you don't we don't know you your policies. We we all saying you go up you, you get votes off fear. You became the president I'll create fear. So you know Henry respond. Pressure for who? The government Yes, the government put it on Facebook and YouTube to tighten up. Yes, to tighten up. We're not going to have a platform full of misinformation and disinformation. Scaring people, spreading conspiracy theory, lies, fake medicine, uh, hatred, like hating on the Jews, right? Hating on gay people, hating on black people. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to do that to no minority group. Then they get to sue us. The government go make sure they get their money. When 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 the Jews sue YouTube, when the homosexual uh, uh, sue YouTube, even black people, right? If they if they want to claim that they black America, we get our identity crisis under control. We 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 can sue them too, right? But but you know, I don't know what's wrong with us though. You know what I'm saying? 
all the mainstream media was the one called fake news. This was before they started using the label on other sources. Yes, Henry, that is true. This the 1890s, 1900, early 1900. They was calling the media fake news, right? They was calling when the technology got better or more advanced. The fake news changed up its it, 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 its denotations, right? But it started off with the newspaper at first because they had TV around. You had all the fake, you know, motherfucker talk about uh, all the quick doctors, right? Niggas making all the fake claims. Like they got Bigfoot. You know what I'm saying? Bigfoot and shit. And, and we see the pictures and people trying to get money. So they want to be the first one to get the scoop of the news. So they make it up a lot of shit. They, a lot of people were scamming the news. Because the news was paying them back then for new, new stuff, right? That's why you see a lot of artifacts around that time. That's fake. Uh, did it with the TV, right? TV star, radio, right? Radio had fake news on it too. You know what I'm saying? Because you had all these quacks still around. Then you had the IT and television came along, same time. They got fake news on them, but all the platforms, it was all the media platforms at the time, right? So you got you got all, now you go get it to the news you see on the TV. Now you got social media coming out. And you get nigga with a free account on YouTube to open up their mouth. Fake news. Henry, like I told you, Henry. Like I told you. Black youngster get locked up by the feds. FBI every every day, nigga. Every day. This nigga's reporting. Being professional sounding good. Sounding like they telling the truth. But lying they ass off. Disinformation and misinformation. It's misinformation you don't know. Disinformation if you intentionally do it. I know they intentionally said that the FBI coming down, they 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 went in the cookie shop. Well, you know what I'm saying? Black Johnson was in the cookie shop. He the one who shot him and ran out the back door. You know what I'm saying? That's disinformation, bro. That's a conspiracy theory too. You lying on the story. They lying on the story. He go Vans, right? This guy Vans. My video will be about Vans after his question. I don't know how Piece of Gate ain't real, Craig Scott. So let me see. He said, listen to the line, the Piece of Gate is real, right? He did this December 18th, 2022. Piece of real arms target by fake news stories. Speak out. So, so you said the person who the piece of real owner. Speak it out about the fake news. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna address into this video. Uh, damn. Let me go back. Let me go back. I don't have my look good. We're not through. Let's have a look for with this, y'all. Cause this is that love, but uh, you know, uh, uh, what are the people from Wikipedia put? Uh, I put back here. Uh, they call all the sen senator, right? The people are concerned about disinformation and misinformation, right? They did a study, and the study led critical media skills they need to navigate and increase digital society, right? Uh, participating student was unable to identify credible sources online to distinguish advertisement from news article or to understand where information came from. And he said that it's a problem. That is a problem. I agree with this guy. So he called on the senators to... You know, to educate people on, uh, on disinformation and misinformation, you know, uh, social media literacy, right? Uh, let me read something. Uh, literacy worldwide. Dr. Sue Luth, also teacher to prepare these students to be prosumers, both producer and consumer. I like that, prosumer, yeah, of information. That they need to be in the digital age, yes. They keep it up with technology while putting our efforts into teaching students the craft, the craft, 
ethics and responsibility in producing media. We must also teach them to become more skilled consumer of information. Yes, we have that problem. That is a problem. Discerning facts for fishing. Facts over fairy tale. In every turn or click of a hyperlink. Now, just how different this information I heard. They need to study, and, and the students can even distinguish credible sources that uh, don't know if something fake information or not. Wow. We got to do better as parents. Now, uh, you know, I posted uh, the Piece of Gate conspiracy theory. Doing the 2016 presidential list site, right? This is the encyclopedia, which Wikipedia is the encyclopedia, uh, discrediting worldwide of organization, including Washington, D.C. police. It was discredited by the Washington, D.C. police and uh, wide range of organizations, right? Uh, basically, right here, you can see uh, what it's about. You're gonna see that in the video was about uh, that off of the show. This right here. Uh, just tell you who it was. They tell you that the uh the crew conspiracy theory, the crew anon, the crew anon conspiracy theory, right? It's telling you everything, right? Involving uh Hillary participating in a ritual, ritual murder of a child. <laughs> <laughs> in the, in the theater, a ritual murder of a child, boy. He said he resurfaced in 2020. But they do the crew and uh, What, what? Uh, he said the biggest piece of game spread of, on TikTok, right? Uh, and TikTok also tried to get rid of because TikTok, China is letting TikTok spread misinformation. They did the misinformation just like. Uh, kind of what uh, you see with uh, Vance played that video. He passed around that misinformation based off a hunch, a symbol. Come on, bro. I wear all types of symbols on me. Don't tell them what, what it is. You know what I'm saying? You recover right up on me. Talk about I got this symbol. I'm going to ah, ah, tear nigga head off. Anyway. All right, fuck a nigga up. Oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. But he, yeah, also she, she's a part of a worldwide elite of uh, child sex trafficking, right? Black people, kids, we run away every day. Every day. Run away from their ages. Run away from their parents. But they want to see, they want to think that these kids are getting sex traffic overseas and into a small island. Because we some fucked up parents. You need to do better parents. Your kids should not be running away from home. Come on, if you run away from home, obviously your parenting skills are not good. And your kid ain't good. So, you know, it's both things going on. And I told her, the event happened. But the last of the story is the conspiracy theory. It goes away. So you trust the government to investigate themselves, huh? Come on, bro. He said, Anthony the Wild Laptop is one of, is the one that Hillary Clinton dreaded. Uh, but that ain't the conspiracy theory. That ain't the conspiracy theory. I'm talking about piece of gate. It's called strong man argument, man. You bring it up another argument. I ain't talking about what Trump election is. You want to bring up this other thing. The information contained in the main veteran office investigated break down the crash. Some even killed themselves because of the pressure they suffer from watching. The touch of the abuse of Hillary and many afflicted ones upon them church. What's this video at, brother? What, what, where is this video at? What, where is this? Because I know you will post some misinformation. Where is your evidence, brother? I want to see your credit, credible sources. Because <laughs> you don't have social media literacy, I see, Vance. You know, I would respond to, so you trust the government to guess they to himself, huh? Uh, Trump and the Republic is a government too, so. 
in the government so that I, uh, they, 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 they investigate him. He got a, he's on the investigation for disinformation. And for, he get it dead. He, he's on the investigation. Everybody know he full of shit except the other conspiracy theorists. The ego creed, yo, see the V, right? He, he talking about the video, so. Uh, I'm gonna end it. That's where we start right there. Now for the start of my evidence to Vance Kelly here. Trump is on trial. The, uh, the retweet, which is what it was, just the retweet, was from somebody that's a uh, very respected conservative pundit. So uh, I think that was fine. Yeah. Now, this right here, this is when President Trump retweeted the piece of gay shit, the sex trafficking stuff, and you go see how he played it. He was like, put it up for a question. Like, we got the question. We parallel this. We 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 stick this together and we we do this. See how it lined up? So it must be true. It got to be true. Ain't nobody disproved it. Ain't nobody go have it disproved my claim of this conspiracy theory. You feel so? Why Trump do that? He run game on niggas, but niggas got to be slow though. See, I'm too fast for that. Now, this is where uh be what do you think? I said be uh this nigga Trump, this nigga Trump, this mega, this 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 this, this crazy white guy, Trump. This is when he when he just do the conspiracy theory. Did he ask the question? Did he make you think about it? Make you think about it. Then you do your amateur research. Like believe everything on social media. Because the social media motherfucker. He, you know what I'm saying? He already heavy into conspiracy theories. This ain't the first one. You're going to see more footage. Right? Uh, how you get fooled by this conspiracy theories. Right? He make everything up. And it's y'all God. Y'all want him to have the freedom to spit conspiracy theories. That could potentially harm a person. Disinformation would harm you. Misinformation would harm you. It can get a person killed. And Trump don't have a care in the world. He just want to win. No integrity. I got the privilege and the honor to speak at Mar-a-Lago about Pizzagate um, at the fundraiser. Um, at the cocktail reception that we had outside by the pool um, before we went to the ballroom for dinner. And, you know, six years ago, you know, I, I was a lone soldier fighting this. No one wanted to even say the word Pizzagate because the media had so successfully um, redefined what it is and it was so taboo. And I can't even tell you how badly I was ostracized for talking about Pizzagate, exposing Pizzagate, and how many friends I lost, and what a lonely journey it was. So to go from, you know, um, that to being at Mar-a-Lago and being able to freely talk about Pizzagate there and say this is real, and there's no more tiptoeing around it anymore, was just an incredible experience. I got the privilege. It's insane, right there. Marilago, right? What is Marilago? Please ask yourself. yourself, what is Marilago? She made the conspiracy theory six years ago. She's the one who made it up. Trump adopted it. He adopted the theory when he was running, when he was running for president against Hillary Clinton. Then later on, they walked into the, the, the sixth traffic trafficking thing right 
but 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 he always was talking about this alley with this sex traffic. Right? He he so that he came out, he was jumping on him. So he do disinformation. And he's a conspiracy theory. Piece of Jake was a conspiracy theory. He was at the beginning of it. What she said. Team. CBS News has confirmed that Michael G. Flynn, son of retired Lieutenant General Michael T. Flynn, President-elect Trump's choice to be the National Security Advisor, resigned today because he had become, quote, a significant distraction to the Trump transition team. Flynn, seen here last month at Trump Tower with his father, had been pushing the so-called Pizzagate conspiracy, a fake news story created by right-wing websites alleging that Hillary Clinton was involved in a child sex trafficking ring headquartered at Comet Ping Pong, a Washington, D.C. pizzeria. Sunday, 28-year-old Edgar Welch, after driving from North Carolina, entered the pizzeria and fired shots from a semi-automatic rifle. No one was hurt. He told police he came to rescue child victims, but surrendered when he realized there were none. After Welch's arrest Sunday, the younger Flynn tweeted, until Pizzagate proven to be false, it'll remain a story. Transition sources say Flynn resigned before he was to be fired, possibly seconds before. I've talked to General Flynn, and, and his son was helping him a bit with scheduling and administrative items, but that's no longer the case. The younger Flynn has also tweeted other bizarre conspiracy theories and racist remarks. Scott, the elder Flynn, the retired lieutenant general, has also spread fake news stories about Hillary Clinton engaging in criminal activity. But so far, his job seems secure. Did you just hear that? Did you just hear that report? The Flynn guy, the advisor of the transition team, the advisor of his transition team, uh... Had resigned. I think he won the election. He won it because of the piece of gate conspiracy theory by this website. Then the Flynn guy pleaded. He advised Donald Trump. Uh, he's advisor does that. Did he retweeted Donald Trump retweeted his thing that he got for this conspiracy dude group called Kunar. Now, if that ain't enough evidence right there. To say that he gets a conspiracy theory. I don't know what else. Then I told the conspiracy theory. Huh, people. That guy believed that piece of real was hiding. Kids for sex trafficking. That's the piece of gate. He went and shot it up. That's why I'm actually Vance. At this moment. I'm actually Vance. Like. Bruh. The event happened. But the story is a lie. It's no evidence. Thank God he didn't kill nobody, but he shot out the place. He shot out the place. And then he didn't rescue no kids. Because he believed this conspiracy thing. He could have killed hundreds of people. Tens, tens of people, right? Tens and twenties of people up in the piece of real. You know what I'm saying? So, so he was looking for, based on the conspiracy theory. Shaking my head. ABC News has learned that former President Trump actually hosted an event for a group that included a prominent QAnon conspiracy theorist at Mar-a-Lago last night. Photos actually show that Trump hosted Liz Crocken, one of the more prominent QAnon supporters, for a fundraiser in support of a so-called documentary on sex trafficking. Crocken claimed that she spoke with Trump about Pizzagate. You may remember that was the conspiracy theory that falsely claimed that Democrats were running a child sex trafficking ring within a pizza parlor here in Washington. And don't forget, this all comes just weeks after Donald Trump met with Kanye West and far-right white supremacist Nick Fuentes at the same spot there at Mar-a-Lago. Hey, hey, this is a non supporter. The one who made up the conspiracy theory of Pizzagate 